Hi guys, good morning. How are you guys doing? Yeah, it's a new day here in Nigeria and uh, today I will be taking you guys along with me to some places in Ibadan. Yeah, for like two, three months now, I've been trying to get my national ID card. Yeah, there was a vlog where I, I actually, I think I vlogged then, like three months ago, where I went to a local government in Ibadan and they told me that those people that would do the national ID card for us, eh, they are yet to resume back to work. And since then, I've been going almost every week to that particular local government here in Ibadan, but they are yet to open. So I told my boss about it. So he said there are so many centers in Ibadan where I can actually get the national ID card. So today I'll be going to different places. I just hope that it will be a fruitful day here yeah, because I'm just tired. You know, when you want to get national ID card, your own national, national ID card. And for three months now, they are yet to open or something you can't i could not get it and it's kind of frustrating and i really really need this id card like i really really need it so i'll be taking you guys along with me and then is there another thing okay let me just be on my way right now i'm fully dressed i want to be on my way and i would like you guys to join with me i think today i'm feeling a little bit better just a quick one you can support this channel on a monthly basis by being a member of this channel. The membership button is on and I will be glad if you become one of my members. Thank you. So guys, ah, I'm just tired, I swear. <laughs> uh, the first time we went to, what's it called, GT Bank, yeah. So people were too much, I mean too much. I cannot even wait. And I'm not even sure if I'll be able to get to the car there. But then we decided to proceed to uh, the state government secretariat. It's actually my first time here. And this place is actually very, very big. But the amazing thing is, we were told that if I'm to get the national ID card, I will have to come very early in the morning, around 7. Right now, it's past 11, and they said they've closed for the day. But the question I keep asking myself, fine, we know that this, according to what they said, they said, I was told that uh, they just resume back to work. But this is, this Nigeria, wait till, let me ask you. If they are to resume by, normally government workers, I think they resume by 8. And right now, it's already past 11 and they are closed for the day. The question is, three hours, I'm, not, I'm even sure that they will never resume by 8. I'm too, so sure that is government workers. I'm not saying all, don't get it twisted, but most of them, they don't resume to work by 8. Probably this set of people, they will resume by 9 and close by 10. I swear, Nigeria is a <laughs> I don't want to use all my mouth to say it, but then it's just, it's really, really terrible. Right now, I'm, I'm angry. But I don't know how to even excuse my face so that you guys can know that I'm angry. But then I think we'll check another. Uh, is it local government? Is it sectarian as well? Yeah, I want to try and check another sectarian to see if I'll be able to get it today. And if not, definitely tomorrow by 6 30, I must have leave my house so that I can come and queue to get national ID. Just imagine, just to get national ID card. Our own, oh no. Mm, national, not <laughs> it is well. I will talk to you guys when we get there. Seriously, this is my first time entering. I'm not sure. Oh, 
Japan, on it, the shell or Ricky so guys we are in uh we are inside the university of ibadan teaching us pizza and right now they said those people as well they are yet to resume i think you can see that alexandra brand oil college of medicine university of ibadan so that this is uh what's it called this is Mokola area, something, yeah, UCH anyway. So we want to be on our way to the next stop. I'll talk to you guys later. So guys, I just got to another office. <laughs> this is Mado. Look at, look at the, what's it called? The assignment. No one is there. I mean, no one. I will, I will turn the camera back now so that I can show you guys. I'm just tired. It remains one place. After that place, if I didn't get it, I think today is... I will just end it for today then probably the other sectarians that we went to that they said they i have to come like 7 a.m maybe tomorrow then but let me show you guys me and you, we go there inside like oh we go flex we go but twins for me i go be daddy i love you yeah 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 to bat it down me at yeah yeah Oh my dear, yeah, I'm on my tower. I love you, yeah, yeah, yeah. To bat it down, boy. Hit me at the yeah, yeah. Oh my dear, yeah, I'm on my tower. Baby, you want me more, 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 you want me more. So, guys, this is the fifth uh, center and they are done for today as well but i was told the same thing that i should come very early tomorrow by 7 a.m and um, what else i don't even know i'm tired <laughs> so uh maybe tomorrow okay not maybe i'll definitely show up here tomorrow because it's a little bit close and uh, the place is not too 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 busy like that so i'll come here tomorrow but today i'm done out of i think seven places or eight centers in Ibadan. out of eight centers i've actually visited five centers today that's crazy so i'm done for today i beg i beg i beg i beg i'm done i'll talk to you guys tomorrow so hi guys good morning how are you guys doing it's another new day yeah right now i'm on my way to uh polytechnic of ibadan where i will be getting the uh, national id card because i actually wrote my name yesterday and they told us to appear by seven so it's actually 6 30 right now but i will be taking bike so that it will be very very fast i'm very close to the roadside now i will speak to you guys i think I will speak to you guys when I get to the place. So guys, I'm now inside the, the polytechnic. I actually trekked for like uh, seven minutes thereabouts because from Songo Junction, I ought to take uh, a cab or a bike. But then I was just like, since I have little time now, let me just walk. At least it's still early in the morning. So I'm inside the school right now and uh, I'm on my way to the place. So this is how the school looks like. This is my second time entering. <laughs> Yesterday was my first time and today is my second time coming into this polytechnic. I've never entered before, but it's so cool. So this is what our uh, coronavirus has caused. <laughs> Everywhere is silence. Normally, if were to be school days, like when the school was on section or something oh my god according to what i heard they said people are too much like students are too much in this school that is it's more or less like a market square <laughs> but right now that is what pandemic has caused though no movement see everywhere and this is august for goodness sake august though but it's okay i'm moving close so they have wema bank here I wonder how this bank is operating right now. The place is beautiful. 
anyway, yes. the joy is face front. <laughs> face front to face front, face front. So I think this is their ICT center. Like you can see from the signboard. This is the center. So nice. So that is the center. Guys, uh, someone saw me trekking inside the school, like those with their private car. I was like, hey, how are you? Good morning. Where are you going to so that I can help you? I feel so. <laughs> I feel good anyway that at least somebody was, somebody wanted to render a, a help for me at least. But I was already close to the place when I saw the, when the man saw me rather. So I'm already there. I will talk to you guys. I will update you guys. Yeah. So guys, I just got my, let me firstly drop my bag because right now, eh, I'm angry. I just got this eh, ID card. Take a look at Nigerian ID card. Though. Just take a look. This is just A4 paper. Since 6.30 that I left the house, I got here around 7. I've been here since morning and uh, see, the time wasted is not the only thing that is paining me right now. Normally, this ID card should be should be given to us free because it's not something like national ID card. We have to pay for this. And the amazing thing was, at, at the first time, the very first time, after giving us the temporary uh, ID, they said we need to go. After two weeks, we come back. And even where the registration was taking place, some people paid 500 they collected 500 1000 there are from people for the temporary and for funniest thing that temporary id card cannot be used anywhere it is not recognized like no one recognized that so we have to beg the man that please we need this id card for something blah 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 and he said we have to pay so now some people paid 2000 naira some paid 3000 some paid 1000 naira and this is the situation in this this can I, I don't want to use the f word this useless country that's just it that's just the way it is right now i'm so tired of this country because there's nothing you want to do in this country there's i mean nothing there's nothing you want to do in this country that you will not pass through stress and for instance things that we ought to get for free you will pay heavily, I mean heavily for it. Just imagine you don't have money to eat, you don't have anything, and you just want to get this kind of ID card. You need nothing less than 2,000 naira just to get this. Just take a look at this. This is A4 paper. Just do the registration and that's all. And the print out, they gave us A4 paper for huge amount of money. I swear that I'm done with Nigeria. Please, all roads lead to America. I want to cry. I want to cry. This is so painful. And I know a lot of people, are, they are passing through the same thing like this. I know a lot of Nigerians, you know, go through this same pain because it's a huge... Just imagine I have a job. Yeah, I have a job, probably a private job or something that I need to go to work. Can I stay here from 7 a.m. to 2 p.m.? It's already 2. Yeah, right now. It's already past 2. And I'm still here. I just got it. Take a look. It is well with Nigeria. Just keep praying. That reminds me. I went to uh, in the in the in the process of waiting. I needed an affidavit from a uh, court. I went there. Getting to the place, normally the stamp or something, the money that enters into the government account, I think is 400 naira, but. Just same problem now. After paying the 400 naira that enters into the government account, the money that you will pay you, there's one money we they call it mineral money or mineral mot money. That is where they will sign for you. So, no, where they will stamp for you, you have to pay. Where you will type, they, you have to pay. I don't know, just understand this, this, this. Oh my God, this country, this country that we live in. At the end of everything, people that live out, uh, 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 what's it called? People that Nigerians that live outside in abroad, they will tell us that we have a better life, we have everything we want in Nigeria. If you know it's true, just come down, come and experience this same pain. Like we are just in pain, forget it. This, this system is out of it, it's just out of it. I'm tired, I'm tired.